Hi friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a digital planner cover like you see here. Most digital planners on Planify Pro don't have a cover attached yet, so there are just a few planners which have a cover. Um, this planner right here, for example, starts with the index page and has no cover attached. The one next to it, this one, however, has one. So assuming you have already created a digital planner in the past and you now want to reopen it and attach a cover to the front, follow this tutorial and I'll show you how we can add a cover to your pre-existing digital planners. If you have never created any digital planners in the past but you're just following along this tutorial, Feel free to open up any pre-existing digital planners. We have many different kinds of planners. Most of them do not have any covers attached to them. Um, for this tutorial, I will continue working from this planner right here. It's the self-care digital planner. So open it up or open up your personal digital planner you have created in the past. Here it is. Um, let me check. Um, the first page is the index page. And now we want to add before the index page the cover. So to add a blank page to the top, you can go to add page menu, click on it, have empty page selected, and then click on at the top. So this will insert you a blank page to the top like this. Close it. And now you will see that on the first position now we have a blank page. Um, also rename it to cover so we can keep everything nice and organized. And then to remove um, this background right here go to layout, digital planner and then here deactivate the digital planner layer like this. Then to remove any widgets you might have here um, click on the Edit Layout button and have it set to On to customize the layout. Then click on any widget boxes and click on the blue minus button in the middle to manually remove the widget boxes like this. You might still have um, some cut lines in the middle and on the sides of the template. To remove them go to Save Export, Cut Lines and then click on hide the corner cuts like this. Now that you have an empty blank space, you can go over to sticker, the sticker mode, and here is where you can add a digital planner cover and also some text. So let's check out the digital planner covers first. You can, if you don't see it here, if you don't see it here up here, you can also type in cover and then it's the digital planner cover you want to open up. So this one right here, click on it. And then you should see uh, digital planner covers in all colors. So if you have created your planner in a pink cover background, you might also want to select a pink cover. Um, let me see, I will add this one right here. It's a blush pink. And then uh, make it bigger like this. And now here comes the tricky part. So as of right now, um, whenever you're creating digital planners, uh, you will always have to work with the left and the right page, so double pages. As of right now, we don't support single pages. All the digital planners are created in double pages where the left and the right side are divided from each other. We have it on the to-do list to create single pages in the future, but as of right now, we only support double pages like this. And this is also an issue here because you see that it doesn't go over to the other side. What you would have to do here is place the digital planner in the middle. So first resize it to the size you want it to be, um, maybe something like this. And then I usually like to use this guide here in the middle. You see here in the middle there is like a vertical line with a white circle on top. I usually use this one as a guide and place this one in the middle um, between the left and the right side like this. And then have it selected and click on copy up here, the copy button. And now you want to select the left page. So click anywhere on the left side. And now you want to click on paste. 
So now it has pasted you the other the planner again to the left side and from here you want to move in the digital planner into the middle and try to have it connect um, seamless like, like this. So again here you can kind of use this vertical line as a guide and move it to the middle like this and then have it continue seamlessly like this. So this looks okay now and then if you want to add a text either to the top or to the side you can go to widget and then you can go to text, click on the text and now you can add the text anywhere you want. So if you want to add a text to the top you can place it up here to the sides or maybe you also want to have a text to the planner on top of it. In that case um, retype the text maybe 2023 if you want to change the font, click on the AA icon up here and this will pull up the font menu on the sides. Click on regular, then click or select a font. Maybe you want to have it a tiny bit bigger like this. And then same problem as we had before. Here you will have to copy this text, click on the left side and paste it and then move it into the middle so it can continue like this. And then I think this might need to be moved more to the right side. So let's move it like this. And I think this looks okay. All right. From here, if you want, you can also add some more stickers. So let's go back to sticker and let's open up the Spring Planner Girl collection and then here if you want you can further decorate it, maybe add some flowers. Um, to bring it to the back click here on this button right here either up or down like this. Then you can place it to the back, maybe make it bigger like this. Make it really big like this and then copy it, click on the left page, paste it, um, select the image and bring it to the back and then try to um, connect it so it continues like this. All right. And then you can further decorate it if you want. Um, for example, maybe add some branches to the bottom like this and then also bring it to the back. Okay, now let me jump over on to relinking this planner. So let's say you have completed and finished your cover and you have added this cover to a pre-existing planner. You now will need to relink the pages because what you have done now is you have added an additional page which now has messed up all your links. So go to the index page here, go to layout and what you now need to do is um, adjust the links. So here under self-care we wanted to go to the self-care list. The assessment has to go to the assessment list and most likely you will need to move your links by one position. Let me quickly do that. And I will be right back. So here, February goes to February, March to March, April to April. All right, I've set all the pages to the correct link now. Um, they all are linked to the correct page here. What is left is to apply these links to all the other pages. Because as of right now, just the index page has the corrected links attached here. To apply the links to all pages, Click on the blue apply style button right here and then make sure you only have these three menus selected, the margins, the digital planner style and the digital planner tabs. So deselect all pages. You only want it to have applied starting at the index page and then all the way down to the last page. Okay. And then once selected, click on apply style to pages and let it relink all the pages for you. 
Okay, so it has completed relinking the pages and all the links are now correct. Um, if I now go to a random page here in June and if I check the tabs, I'll see that um, February goes to February, June to June, so all the tabs look linked correctly. So once you have completed this step, you can just re-export the planner. Now, in case you should see something odd like this one right here on the cover page, uh, don't panic. All you need to do is go to Layout, Digital Planner, and then deactivate the background layer. Okay, so in case you have accidentally applied the links to all pages included the cover, don't be concerned, just go back to Layout Digital Planner and then deactivate it. So just in case it looks like this, just click on this button again to remove it. And all should be fine. Then from here, Save Export, have the Digital Planner selected and then click on Batch Generate PDF to export your Digital Planner with the cover. So this was how to create a Digital Planner cover. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!